welcome back. We're looking at Viper today in the F111. Some amazing tips, tricks, and great flying by Viper. I'm going to do some pausing just like this to give you advice and tips on becoming a better Metal Storm pilot. Now, Metal Storm is available for free, so make sure you go get it on the Epic Games Store. You get it on Apple or Android Store for your mobile as well as PC. This screen is very important. You see it every time the mission starts and it shows you the enemy aircraft so you can figure out how to defend and what to expect. We see here they've got three fighters with medium range capabilities, one F-111 with long range missiles and also a MiG-19 who will do some close up fighting. So now you have the idea of the enemy composition and what you should expect. Let's watch. Viper is in his F-111. He's upgraded it to, I believe, level 7 or 10. He's got extra health. He's going vertical. This is perfect. You want to take top-down shots with the ultra-long-range missiles that his plane has. But he's already being locked, and he's got a missile on him. Now, what did he do there? He popped flares a little bit too early. That gives the enemy missile time to reacquire. Is it going to get him? Yes, it hits him. He's knocked not. He's not knocked out. He takes out the enemy F-111, sends a missile on the MiG-19 to the right. And if we look back here, the reason he sent that missile is because that MiG-19 is trying to take control of Control Point Alpha. This is Capture the Flag mission in Metal Storm. Capture the Flag domination, however you want to call it. And it's all about controlling those control points. So that's why he sends a missile on that MiG-19 before switching his targets to the enemies down below. One missile for the Vigan, one for the Jaguar, and one for the Mirage 3. That takes all of them out, and that is a quad splash within the first few seconds of the match. Now, right here, Viper rolls over, and he's looking down towards Control Point Alpha, which has now turned red, which means that the red team is earning points, but he doesn't proceed because he sees there's a friendly F-15 already dealing with that control point. He's free to continue his battle, and he's got a lot of targets on his hands. He's got three, four hostiles all coming in. Primary target, F-111, puts two missiles on him. GR-3, one more missile. As he turns away for the next shot, he's hit. Not much he could do there. He did his very best. His job in the F-111 with those super long range, super powerful missiles is to push the enemies from control points while his team's job is to grab and keep taking control of those control points. Right there, did you see that? What Viper was doing is he saw that there was an enemy flying. The GR-3 was flying towards control point A. He did not waste his missile because as soon as he goes behind the mountain, that missile will go stupid. So he's waiting, perfect. Patience pays off and he fires his long range missile. First one, second one. While the first one hits, the second one hits the mountain because that gave the enemy time to maneuver. Always imagine where your missile will be going and plan accordingly. All right, there's a Mirage 3 back there. He donates a missile to that guy, comes around the corner, turns back in. There's the Mirage 3, but he gets schwacked. And here's a do or die moment. Enemy F-111 on the nose. He fires his missile. He hits the F-111, makes his turn, and the friendly finishes off that aardvark. All right, good stuff. He's got repaired. Good thing the health bonus was right now. He thinks about shooting the Vigan. Nope, he goes around the mountain. Perfect. Viper did the right thing. He saved his missile. He has one left. It couldn't be important, but he does get extra weapons here. He's rearmed. He's back in business. All right, MiG-19. He's crossing right to left. Here's a problem. The MiG-19 pops flares just in time, and the missile flies right by. The Phoenix is a very slow missile. Unless you're lucky, it will very often fly by the enemy. Shoots the first missile. The enemy flares it out. Shoots the second missile. The second missile hits the enemy F-111. As he comes around, this is a ballsy move. Will it hit? And proximity damage takes out the enemy F-111. All right, the Vigan takes a missile. Here's the Jaguar. Another good hit. Now, here's the problem. The F-111 has no other weapons but those long-range missiles. So all he can do is do this amazing maneuver underneath the overpass. He's got enemies 
trying to get him with guns, trying to get him with missiles. He needs more missiles. He's trying to get away from them. And the problem is he is surrounded. There's four enemies all around him, five enemies all around him. He goes over the top and gets taken out. Why? <sighs> His team is just not keeping control of the airspace and not capturing control points. The enemy is getting points like crazy. They're at 180 already, whereas blue team, his team only has 71. There's not much he can do to turn this around. Rack in as many points as you can at this point. Mirage 3 gets a missile. That's going to be a splash. F-111. Also a splash. And 197, 198, 199. This is all over, but Viper comes through with an excellent flight. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to his channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, but go give him some love and great flying. Hopefully you like some of these tips and I'll see you in the air. Plasma 1945 is out of here and great flight by Viper. 10 splashes, two deaths, two assists. Well done. Too bad his team wasn't picking up the slack.